Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Nicole. Thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time seeing me, you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you are subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to the Simply Squad for another video. So you guys, today's video is going to be a review video of a Polaroid camera that I got. This Polaroid camera is called the Instax Mini 11 from, by the Fujifilm brand. I got it from Target and I'll have the link in prices down below in the description box. I got mine in the color lilac purple. And so on the front of the box, it says simulated image development time approximately 90 seconds. And so on the back, it just tells you what's in the package, um, the camera itself, a hand strap, shutter accessory set, AA batteries, instruction manual, and a warranty as well. And then it, on the back, it tells you the new features. It says one touch selfie mode, which we'll be testing, I think, bright images with automatic exposure and custom shutter accessories. And then on the other side, it just gives you actual size of an image produced. So we're gonna go ahead and open this camera. So I'm just so excited. Now guys, it does not come with the film itself. So you have to buy the film separately, which I did. It was in the, it was right next to the camera in the section that it was in at Target. And so I'll have this link below as well. And so you have to use this brand film for the camera. Here's the manual. Here is the, oh, here's the strap that it said it came with. And some bubble wrap here. You guys, this camera is beautiful. It's nice and lightweight and not too heavy. It feels firm, it feels sturdy. So, okay, interesting. I'm kind of confused though, cause hold on. All right, I guess you look, so this is the lens that you would look through right here. You push this button and it comes out from the top. That's so cool. Oh, wow, that's so freaking cool. That's so cool. I can even take a picture of this, of my lights, and I'll show you guys. And so AA batteries said it was included, so, oh, wait, it didn't say it was included, but they don't go right there. So right here goes the film itself, the instant film and battery pack is right here here are our double a batteries okay so let's read the instructions because i don't know what i'm doing so how cute is this all right so so i'm going to remove the film case like that and you can see look at how cool that is inside the camera all right so let's dig in and get our film so excited so here we have our film. Look at that. Look at that. Wowzer. We have our film here and you can see the yellow tick up here. I'll explain that. So the yellow tick is up here and that's what we're going to use to line up how to put it in the camera. Um, but on the film, it says 6 PS. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, maybe six photos. And it says, don't touch right here and don't touch right there. So yellow mark is right here. Yellow mark is right here. You guys can't really see that. So we're going to line that up. And then it's in. And then we just, then we just close it back like that, right? Now that we have our film inserted, we're gonna move on to the next step. So our film is in there and wow. Here's one more look at the camera. Um, this is our light sensor. This is obviously the lens and lens cover. This is the film confirmation window. This is the viewfinder piece right here. Here is the power button. Whoa, that was a lot. Oh, look at our little light. Ah. This is cool. While I'm looking through the viewfinder, I also can see another circle that's kind of like a target that can help center the picture. And so once I take the picture, um, it's going to come out of the top and it's going to eject. I'm going to grab it and take it out. And that's it. And we're going to wait our 90 seconds. So, okay. Here goes nothing. I'm trying to get everything in there. Eight. 
it feels like so old school. I don't know what happened. All right, you guys. So I retook the picture and whatever that came out, I don't know what that was. I think that was just the first round or something. But here is our actual photo. So we're going to give that 90 seconds to develop. I'm going to play it to the side. Right here is our selfie mirror. So we're looking at to take pictures of ourselves. Got my, I'm looking at my selfie mirror. Ooh. Look at that, you guys. Look at the sound of that. This is a machine. This is so weird compared to what I'm used to. So we're going to get that time to develop. So for this one, I don't know if it's clear what it is, but it's my uh, box light in the back and then my ring light in the front with my camera um, viewfinder flipped up there. And this is the first photo that I took. I love this. I love the vibe of these pictures. And so this is just what the back of the film looks like. It says, don't put him out. Don't put him out. Okay. So love that. And then here's the second one I took, just a selfie of myself. That was repetitive, but here's the second one I took, a selfie. And super, super cute. I think it's still developing, but I love this. I just really, you guys, I love the way that these pictures look. I love the vibe of the old school, old time nostalgia. And another thing is I always edit my pictures to look like this anyway. So I actually kind of wasn't going to buy this, but I was just... I love the fact that you can hold on to these cameras. I mean, hold on to these pictures. And I um, I love the camera for aesthetic purposes as well. Woo! All right, you guys. So that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. This was kind of a struggle my first time doing a review video, but I love the camera. I'm going to um, probably be using that little strap that it came with just so it doesn't just so it's easy to hold on to. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.